Hello Virgos, thank you so much for clicking on this video. So today we're going to be doing your October prediction. We're going to be looking into your general energy, the love energy and the career energy. So let's get started with your reading. So I'm going to start off with the numerology cards here. I hope you like my setup by the way. Uh, I'm trying something new so let's get started. Um, thank you for being patient with your um, monthly readings. I have been ill like twice in the month of uh, September so I'm catching up with myself. So let's see what do the guys need to know in the month of October. Thank you. Okay. We have communication and individuality, 33 and 11. So numbers 33 and the number 11 could be coming up quite a bit or repeating numbers of 33 three and 11. One, one. And then go to pull some cards from my unicorn oracle deck. Let's see what this communication is about. Discernment, interesting. We have all is not what it seems. Stay true to your knowing. Keep your dreams a secret. Then we have individuality. Friendship. Seek out your soul family. Surround yourself with positive people. Spend more time socialising. So this is the same colour as the, pretty much the same colour as individuality. Like a, a dusty, like red colour. Dusty brown. So I feel like for you guys, it's really going to help you to know who you are, okay? Be very, very true to who you are and be very honest of who you are. Underneath the deck, we have strength. This challenge will make you stronger. You will get through to the other side. Look for the gifts in this situation. So there may be some strength that you have to pull yourself up by in terms of communication as well. So let's have a look at the book. I always look at the book in terms of this uh, card deck because it's quite new to me. And it can just give you any more information that you might need to know. So this is a communication. This card indicates a need to communicate your thoughts and feelings and have the courage to speak your truth. Instead of keeping things to yourself out of fear of judgment, ridicule or conflict, you must express your honest opinion. By doing so, you're releasing that energy from your being and promoting a healthy body and mind. This card indicates that you have something important to say. You're being encouraged to communicate or express yourself through writing, speaking, singing, dancing, um, acting, music or art. You may prefer to compose poetry or know your thoughts in a journal and keep your ideas and feelings to yourself or you may choose to voice them to others so that you may give and receive guidance, wisdom and hope. Whether your message is intended to inspire those around you or simply heal yourself it is important and necessary to help raise your own vibration which in turn raises the vibration of the world. In order to improve your current situation, you are being asked and to adjust to and harmonise with the natural rhythms and cycles of your life. Cycles that encourage you to communicate and express your truth. When you are honest and respectful and seek to serve the greater good, your message will be received in the best possible light. Honest communication is the key. Your affirmation this month, the month of October, by communicating my truth, I create a healthy, harmonious life. There's like a it's like a light shining on a building. It's like reflecting right in my eyes. <laughs> Things will be illuminated. So what I'm seeing for you guys, it's like a, like a natural light box. <laughs> um, so for you guys, I feel like it's really, really important for you to speak your truth. Be the individual person that you are. Be honest and speak your truth. And there could also be friendships as well. Could be a little bit um, mixed up um, in October where basically they're trying to teach you to be like them and it's like no I want to be myself and communication basically is just as I say being who you are and being honest with who you are I felt I just felt suddenly really drained from you guys so I feel like a lot of you guys are really suffering um let me just turn down my brightness as well because it's really bright a bit better um yeah I feel like a lot of you guys are feeling very drained I'm feeling very kind of like, uh, I feel like I'm a little, an, an animal for you guys is a little mouse. I feel like you're feeling very kind of a little bit insecure, a little bit unsure of what's kind of going on. Um, but let, just let you know guys that things will change and strength will help you get through. Okay, so let's, I want to give you another advice card. I have my um, other unicorn deck here, which is by Doreen Virtue. I'm going to pull a card for you from this as well. I'll give you an advice on what's kind of going on creative draw paint think and act in creative ways so it's pretty much what it said in the other card is to just express yourself 
that's really really important this is so stunning and it says laughter you need a good laugh so i feel like you guys really need to kind of have a good laugh you know go out with your friends watch some funny videos do something that makes you laugh yeah because i feel like you kind of bogged down i feel like also you need to talk to some friends and maybe some friends you need to talk to that you haven't spoken to for a long time so possibly do that um and let's get started with your love part of the reading so that was just a general energy sometimes it connects with career and love anyway because obviously everything connects to everything anyway but yeah i also think individuality you may be coming across a uh twin flame because you've got the 11 here as well and it's also you not looking the same as everyone else like not blending in and actually like standing out so with the with love we have the page of cups which is really really nice a lovely new love energy you could be connecting with a pisces or you could be a virgo pisces we also have the four of wands three of cups and the ace of cups you guys have got probably the best love reading i've had today i've done all the fire signs and they've all been a bit lackluster so um i hope that's the right word but yeah, I feel like you guys are really kind of getting into your love zone this month. Amazing. So I can see love coming in for you. I can see something very stable. Um, if you're obviously this is for you guys who are single. Uh, maybe if you're in a relationship as well. If you're um, possibly looking for a bit more love in the relationship. If things have been a bit lacking. There may be a little bit of spicing up for you guys who are in a relationship. For those of you who are single, however, I do see love coming in for you. There's definitely love coming in in terms of career. So it could be somebody from your career. Um, from your it could be like someone joining from your career so it could be somebody who could help you have a one-up in your career we also have the five of wands so you guys are just stressed i feel like there's some stress kind of going on and uh it's quite intense so what is this five of wands what's stressing out my virgos the hermit and the fool wow they're like completely opposite energies Wow, okay, so you guys, um, for some of you guys, I feel like you're feeling like you're lacking in love. You don't feel like you have a lot of love for yourself, possibly, or just like you don't have a lot of love around you for you guys who are single or even in relationships. Just to let you know, guys, that what's going to help you is to be introverted. I don't think you guys have a problem with this. <laughs> I'm Virgo Rising and Virgo Mars, so I can totally relate to that. Is that being a hermit isn't a bad thing. Um, having some time away isn't a bad thing. So I feel like that will really, really help you guys. To kind of just be introverted and just take some time for yourself and then i do feel like because you're going to be doing that and you're going to be looking after yourself putting yourself first not focusing on what's lacking we're not focusing on what's here you're going to have the full card which is absolutely amazing a new start which is coming in for you guys around mid-october i'm feeling mid-october to the end i think mid-october for most of you um there's new love coming in possibly from the past but i'm feeling more to do with in the now so it's going to be a new person and we also have the king of pentacles so it could be another earth sign for you guys we also have the six of wands so movement forward amazing with the um eight of cups so moving away from what doesn't serve you being really strong in your values which is really really important and i know um, me being Virgo rising and Virgo Mars and uh, Virgos aren't very assertive so it's really, really important for you to actually bring that into this month and that's kind of scary because you're being seen you're getting people to notice you but that's what's going to really help you this month and we also have the lovers which is an amazing amazing card to end on in terms of your love life and the sun underneath so we definitely have some love coming in for you guys in the month of October and your love life improving if uh, you're feeling a little bit lacklustre in your actual relationships and I also see just stability. So if you guys are in a relationship already, I see stability. I possibly see some of you guys thinking about um, advancing in your relationship. So possibly moving in. Um, just talking about commitment, you know. Maybe not committing at this month. But maybe just talking about it. Something to do with like just going forward. Okay. And uh, advancing. So let's have a look in terms of career. This could also be communication from somebody coming in in terms of love. The fact that it's 3-3 three, three could be basically um, from somebody who's quite creative or just being creative in your um, communication, which could mean <laughs> like rapping, yo, 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 what's up? <laughs> what's up, my bestie? No, like, uh, I mean, like, just kind of being who you are, you know, just being your natural self, like not hiding who you are. Okay. 
I'm just going to pull a few cards for your career. Okay, so the same cards came out for love, which came out for career. So we have the page of cups underneath the deck for career. Same as the uh, love section of your life. So definitely like there's somebody in career who's going to be uh, seeing you as an amazing individual. They're going to be seeing, wow, I want to get to know this person. This person seems amazing. Um, and you're going to be possibly meeting some new people within your career life. I see you working really hard and reaping the rewards. I see you getting quite a lot of dollar this month, quite a lot of monies, which is really, really good. And I'm also seeing you being, you being very content with your work life. Um, this, the five of wands came up again. So it's something to do with communication. You may not want to communicate about something. You may want to get a raise, but you're not sure about how to talk about it. You may want to talk about something in your, um, you may have to like step up to the plate I'm hearing. So you may have to talk about something you don't want to talk about. You may have to have a meeting or be in the limelight for a while. Um, or even, you know, be in the limelight altogether. So I feel like you guys are really going to be recognised this month and it's trying to handle that limelight and to be your wholehearted self and not to fake who you are just because you've got this attention. It's like, oh my God, I've got to fake who I am, I've got to hide. It's like, no, you can do this. Like, just embrace who you are and be happy with who you are and to know that that is enough, okay? And you're doing a really, really good job. So that's really good. I love that for you guys. I really hope this resonated with you guys and I hope you have an amazing month of October. Thank you so much for being patient with me. I know these readings are a little bit late, but I have been ill for like, most of September um so I was literally well for just like six days of September so thank you so much for watching guys if you like this video give it a big old thumbs up it really helps me having these thumbs up so I can get seen on the uh, platform and if you would like to comment down below I'd really appreciate it and subscribe to my channel I really appreciate your love and support and I'll speak to you very soon much love bye